Hey everyone, it's me Desiree Marie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about crochet locks for looser hair textures or in other words instant locks. I realized that here on my channel I give a lot of helpful information based on my experience being locked. However, I wanted to also provide helpful information to some of my sisters and brothers out there that have a different hair texture than mine and have a looser hair texture than mine. Me personally, I have 4C hair, but I know a lot of you have a different natural hair texture. You may have 3A hair, 3B hair, 3C hair. You may have a looser texture that even may be straight and you're wondering how in the world do I get to lock my hair. And so even though I don't have a loose hair texture, I did do extensive research just for you to figure out the pros and the cons and whether or not you should go ahead and crochet your hair to start your lock journey or if you should try a different method. Now for those of you that don't know what crochet locks are, it is simply when you use a crochet tool to go ahead and you're pretty much using a crochet needle to back comb and pretty much quote unquote mat the hairs together to form a mature lock faster or to form a lock faster than the natural progression of hair when you know you start off with the baby locks and you go ahead and you deal with the frizzy hairs and then you step further years later and your hair is now matured and you have a mature you know set of locks the crochet method helps those of you that have looser hair textures and that deal with a lot of unraveling that us with the kinkier hair textures do not. This method helps you very, very much to achieve the locked hairstyle or the locked um, hair aesthetic that you are looking for and you desire with your hair texture that may make it a little bit more difficult to go ahead and achieve with the natural you know progression of hair into locks if that makes sense <laughs> so i wanted to give helpful tidbits and give you guys the pros and cons to starting your starter locks with the crochet technique should you get crochet locks I am here to give you some information that I have found and I hope that this video is informational and helpful to you and helps kind of motivate you to go ahead and get locks whether you start with the crochet locks or you do two strand twist locks or uh, what, what, other, what other technique that you uh, are considering. So if you have a looser hair texture and you are considering crochet locks, here are some of the reasons why you do want to consider them. Here are some of our pros to getting crochet locks. Number one, you get instant length. If you are not used to having short hair and you're used to having a certain length of hair and you don't want to go ahead and go all the way to the beginning to start all over and uh, again, you will love the crochet method because that allows you to kind of start off with instant locks. You don't have to go through all of the stresses that many of us deal with with our baby locks as they are still forming and becoming. Um, when you get crochet locks, you're pretty much starting right off the bat with mature looking locks. Even though they are not fully matured, they have the appearance of being matured locks. So you will see right then and there that you have locks and you'll get them within maybe the you know an hour or so, however long it takes you to go ahead and get your crochet lock. So you pretty much skip all of the um, the pain and the struggle that a lot of us deal with when we are still um, maturing with our locks. Um, a lot of us get frustrated when we look at other people and see, oh, well, she didn't have to go through the same thing as me. But they still do go through a certain type of uh, journey if even if it doesn't look like yours um, They still deal with other things as well that we may not be dealing with and vice versa so 
Um, it's all preference, you know. For me, I wouldn't have started my locks with the crochet method. And, but that's not to say that someone else, that might not be the best you know, thing for them. So I'm, like I said in many, many videos, I'm inclusive to all. I, we all have different struggles with our hair and locking our hair. And so crochet locks are very much helpful to those people who do not have the hair texture to actually develop full mature locks uh, as as is, as it, it naturally goes through the progression. Sometimes it's needed to get that extra help from a tool and go ahead and use the crochet needle to help form and, you know, become the locks. <laughs> become the locks? To form the locks. <laughs> and it's also to be noted that some people have careers that does not com does not accommodate the baby lock stage. Um, with baby locks, we deal with a lot of frizziness, fuzziness, um, and it just goes through a whole metamorphosis that may not be conducive to certain professional uh, environments. And so, for those individuals that are very, very much um, like they 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 work in a career that is very visual and image. Uh, obsessive I guess and there's just a certain look that you have to you know have to come with um, crochet locks are great because you get the instant locks you don't have to worry about the natural progression you get it boom boom bam you know and um, you don't deal with a lot of the uh, different issues that come with starting locks and and developing the locks Personally, I don't agree with uh, discrimination in the workplace. So don't come for me, okay? Like, let's not let's not do this at this video. Don't do this on this video. Don't come for me. Um, I don't agree with lock discrimination. However, I know that other people have other lives lifestyles that I don't live you know and it's not to say that it's it's something that because I believe one way it's supposed to be this way other people deal with um, they, they work in professional settings that really require a certain look so this point is for them okay don't don't come for me <laughs> I'm just saying I'm just saying Another pro to getting crochet locks is that you get easy hairstyling. So you get an advantage above us with, you know, the natural progression of the lock stages and whatnot. You get to just go ahead and style your hair however you want. Um, there is a lot of flexibility with starter locks when you start off with two strand twists, braid locks, comb coils, etc. There's still a lot of versatility there, but when you start off with those methods you are still in the beginning stages thinking about unraveling and not compromising you know the growth of your locks so you're not doing a lot of updos and stuff like that people with crochet locks can go ahead and play around with their hair a little bit more because they're not as concerned with the of, about the unraveling of their locks because their locks are crocheted. They're not concerned about, you know, the length of their locks being compromised when they put their hair in a ponytail or whatnot. So they get the instant hairstyling um, advantage, which is great as well. Another advantage to having crochet locks is that the crochet technique actually helps you to um, repair damaged locks. Now, when I mention this, I think about my mom because she has dealt with damaged locks as well. And what she does is she goes ahead and uses um, hair a hair texture that is much like hers, the Afro kinky texture of the hair. She takes that and she crochets that hair. She makes the lock and then she crochets the lock onto her hair to repair those ends that were broken or that lock that was a little, um, you know, on the, the damaged side. So when you crochet extensions to your hair, you actually help that lock to recover from its damage. Now, does it actually help, uh, you know, the health of your hair? No, but you are helping the aesthetic. 
of your hair you're helping it to kind of not not have that broken ends look because a lot of us deal with the broken hairs um, a lot of us have snapped locks and damaged locks that need to be repaired and so you know for those of us that have locks that are that are damaged say in the front where it's very visible or you know you have that one that's just sticking up that's broken off you will want to go ahead and crochet extension here onto that just so that it maintains a clean you know precise look if that's what you're going for if you're okay with rocking your hair as is you don't have to add in hair don't have to crochet but I'm just saying that if you are into that look and you are highly focused on certain locks that are that are broken and damaged and how you can get a whole consistent look to your hair, how you can get that back, you might want to consider crocheting um, lock extensions to your hair. And the last pro that I have before we get to the cons of crochet locks is that you get fuss free maintenance. You're not, like I said, you're not dealing with a lot of the issues that a lot of us had to deal with with our starter locks. You're not dealing with the frizzies, you're not dealing with budding. Um, these are not issues, but I'm just saying that people with crochet locks kind of skip over that, these stages. Um, you don't have to deal with the little weird balls at the end. You don't have to deal with a lot of different things because you have crochet locks that are just instant locks pretty much. So you get the look quickly, easier, you get it within hours and you now have the advantage of having locks without the, you know, different development you know part the the the, the, the development uh, stages that you would have had to go through prior so that could be good for you if that's for you if that's not for you sis like I said just skip over the point it take what what works for you take what matters to you if it doesn't matter to you don't don't even if it doesn't matter to you it's okay because we all have different hair textures and expectations for our hair so not everyone is going to agree about every point but we can still respect everyone as we get through these points how about that you know <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to talk about the cons to having crochet locks because there are a few cons that you will want to consider if you are trying to get crochet locks. So definitely want to listen in to these points because these are very, very important. So the first con to having crochet locks is that it's very, very difficult to do yourself. Um, you will need certain tools, you will need a certain level of patience, you will need to really know how to do it properly so you don't end up with damaged locks. And so you, it will be difficult for you to do it yourself. Also, there are not a lot of, um, there are locticians that know how to do crochet locks and instant locks, but there are a large majority that do not specialize in that type of starter lock method. A lot of locticians start locks off with the organic methods of two strand twists, braid locks, comb coils, um, and so forth. So it will be a little difficult to find a uh, licensed loct loctician that you can trust that really knows what they're doing and that can do it for you at you know the, the best way possible um, so it's not like a quick DIY thing that you can do at home um, that's just a, a disadvantage to having the crochet locks it is difficult to start off by yourself if you're trying to save yourself some money, some coins. <laughs> you will have to seek out someone else to do it for you. And that process may or may not be difficult for you depending on where you live and you know what professionals are in your area. And so the next point that I found when I was doing research on the cons of crochet instant locks is that you have a high potential to damage your locks. Crochet locks is is very uh, is a very meticulous um, it's a very meticulous starter lock technique that you really really need to know what you're doing when you're doing it or you will cause damage and harm to your locks. And so um, I found that there are two things that you should do when you get your crochet locks to kind of um, prevent the risk of having damaged locks with this technique. So number one, you will want to use the right 
crochet hooks so you may go to the drugstore and see so many crochet hooks so many crochet needles but you have to find the right one because if you find one and you use one that is way too big you will end up damaging your hair so I found that um, the crochet hooks that are 0.4 and 0.5 millimeters are ideal to starting the crochet instant locks. Anything bigger than that may or may not damage your hair. I just found these two measurements to be ideal. The second way you can prevent damage to your starter locks when you start off with instant crochet locks is to not start off with bleached and brittle hair. Um, you, it, I mean, it goes without saying, when you start this method off with bleached hair, your hair is lacking in health because of the fact that it is weakened and color damaged. So you will want to work a great deal on improving the health of your hair before starting with the instant crochet locks. Um, you want to go ahead and boost it with conditioner and moisture and really work on the health and the integrity of the hair so that you have a solid foundation to start your locks off. Because when you start off with brittle hair and you go ahead and use that needle to crochet, what will end up happening is you will continue to make your hair even more brittle damage your hair even more and this is not ideal because what will happen is your locks will not grow they will not progress but they will actually snap off and break and you will have a a, 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 a situation on your hands that is even worse than when you started with your lock journey you want to continue and improve and you want it to get even better and better throughout the years you don't want to start off with a quick technique that will end up breaking off your hair in the future. So you definitely want to take into consideration the needle um, measurement and also the integrity of your hair before starting with crochet instant locks. So that's pretty much all that I have when I went to research for you all with the looser hair uh, textures. If you are interested in starting instant locks or crochet locks, this I, I think that it's a great method to start with for those of you that are unable to lock your hair because of the hair texture that you have. Your texture may be a, a lot more softer, a lot more looser. And so I understand that and I think that considering those issues that you may have, crochet instant locks may be the best thing for you. Um, I do recommend that you try other methods before you go ahead and do the instant crochet locks um, because this method is very, very meticulous, like I said, and you wanna make sure to do it the right way. There is a high level of risk and harm to your hair if not done the right way. So if you can in, in any way try the more organic route, go ahead and try that out but if not crochet instant locks are still very very much a good option for you so thank you for watching this video you guys thank you for um you know listening i hope that this was a very helpful informational video to those of you who want to start your own locks but don't know how to start with your loose textured hair anyone can get locks locks are very much achievable to everyone and so this video was pretty much made with the intention to help those of you that are not just you know like me <laughs> so I hope that you enjoyed if you have any more questions concerning the instant or crochet lock technique ask us down below because I'm sure there's somebody out there that watches and um, that sees your comment that actually has instant locks or crochet locks and can give you helpful information for your lock journey as well. So yeah, comment down your questions if you have any and subscribe if you're not subscribed because I upload these videos almost every day to inspire and motivate you on your journey. I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Later guys, bye.